international shipping isn't as scary as some people may think. USPS actually gives us everything that we need to make it easier. I'll walk you through five different international shipping services that USPS offers for packages and how to fill out a customs form. So let's get cracking. The five international shipping services for packages are Global Express Guaranteed, which is also referred to as GXG, Priority Mail Express International, Priority Mail International, First Class Package International Service, and Air Mail and Bags. Although each offers different speeds and prices, they have a few things in common. These shipping services allow you to ship packages to about 180 countries, but I double check the individual country and locality's listings. Some shipping services are only available to certain countries or for certain types or amounts of items. Excluding airmail and bags, all of these shipping services offer USPS tracking. However, keep in mind that it might not be the same level of tracking as we get in the United States. It all depends on how you ship it and where it's going to. For each, you'll also have to make sure you're not sending something that is restricted or prohibited to be sent to that country. A good rule of thumb is that if you're not allowed to ship it in the States, you're not allowed to ship it internationally either. Regardless, use the individual countries and locality listings to double check if that country has any specific prohibitions and restrictions. You could be allowed to send something here, but end up not being allowed to for your destination country. Excluding first class package international service and airmail and bags, you can schedule a free package pickup on USPS's website for carrier pickup. Though for GXG, it depends on your zip code if you qualify or not. There's also a pickup on demand for GXG for an extra fee. Now getting right into the different international shipping services, Global Express Guarantee is the fastest way to get your package to its overseas destination. It may not be as fast as the Flash or our favorite Kryptonians, but it'll get there in one to three business days. And even though that's the standard time, it may differ based on what country you're sending it to. You can check the GXG index of countries to see when a dock and non-dock package will get to that destination country. A dock package is anything that contains paper with little or no commercial value, like a personal essay or advertisement. A non-dock package is basically everything that has value, like clothes, books, equipment, you name it. And they also may be subject to inspection by the destination country. So what if it doesn't get there on time or by this certain amount of days? Well, this date certain delivery service offers a money back guarantee. You can request a refund within 30 days of the mailing date. However, you can't request one if there was a delivery temp, but it couldn't be made, the destination address was incomplete or not 100% accurate, or it was simply delayed by things out of their control. Also, P.O. Box addresses aren't eligible for refunds. And how much money are we talking about? Well, the starting price is $67.80, but that price depends on the size, shape, weight, and distance to the destination country. The maximum weight for all GXG packages is 70 pounds. Again, be sure to check the GXG index of countries to see if your destination country has lower weight and size restrictions. The max combined length and girth is 108 inches. Girth equals the height times 2 plus the width multiplied by 2. And then you'd have to add the length to that and see if it's under 108 inches. The maximum length is 45 inches, height 46 inches, and width 35 inches. As for insurance, GXG includes up to $100. To help meet the requirements for envelopes, you can actually get a free GXG shipping kit sent to you. It includes GXG envelopes, stickers, mailing labels, and customs forms. You'll see FedEx on some of them because they handle all international transportation and delivery. If you're a business, you'll have to fill out more than just a customs form. You'll also need a commercial invoice PS or Form 6182 and a GXG Airway Bill. The second fastest international shipping service is Priority Mail Express International. It'll get to your destination country within three to five business days. Like Global Express Guaranteed, it also offers a money back guarantee if you request a refund within 30 days of the mailing date, but it's only for certain countries. As of now, those countries include Australia, Canada, China, 
France, Hong Kong, Israel, Japan, New Zealand, Republic of Korea, Singapore, Spain, Sweden, Switzerland, Thailand, the UK, and Northern Ireland. For the most updated list, you'll have to check the Priority Mail Express International page on USPS's Postal Explorer. So, how much does it cost? The starting price is $45.95. You can also check the general prices for each country by finding its price group number and looking at the price group charts for each shipping service. If you're not using a flat rate box or envelope, the price will depend on the weight of the package and where it's going to. The maximum weight for Priority Mail Express International packages is 70 pounds. The max weight for flat rate envelopes is four pounds. Be sure to check the index of countries and localities to see if your destination country has lower weight and size restrictions. The maximum combined length and girth is 108 inches. Keep in mind that with flat rate envelopes, the container flaps have to close with normal folds. For insurance, packages with merchandise are covered up to $200 for loss, damage, or missing items. For those with non-negotiable documents, it's up to $100. You can also purchase additional insurance above $200, but you'll have to check USPS's website what the max amount that country allows. Priority Mail International is very similar to Priority Mail Express International, but without the speed. It's still decently fast though, but at a slightly more affordable price. It'll get to your destination country within six to 10 business days, and the starting price for envelopes is $28.50 and for small flat rate boxes is $29.55. Again, if you're not using the flat rate boxes and envelopes, the price depends on the weight of the package and where it's going to. The maximum weight for flat rate envelopes in small flat rate boxes is four pounds. Going up in size to medium and large priority mail flat rate boxes is 20 pounds. For packages not using the flat rate boxes and will be priced by weight, they're limited at 70 pounds. Again, be sure to check the index of countries and localities to see if your destination country has lower weight and size restrictions. Like Priority Mail Express International, it offers the same amount in insurance, but you'll still need to check on USPS's website what the max amount that country allows. The slowest and cheapest way to send an international package that doesn't weigh a lot is with First Class Package International Service. The starting price is $14.25, and it varies based on size, weight, and like its speed, distance. To qualify for this international shipping service, your package or large envelope has to be between one to four pounds and be worth less than $400 in value. For sizing, the maximum length is 24 inches and the combined max length, height, and thickness less than 36 inches. Airmail M-Bags is the last international shipping service. It's geared towards students who need to send textbooks or other printed materials back home, and of course for anyone who needs to send lots of printed materials overseas. To see what counts as printed material, you can check USPS's Postal Explorer page for M-Bags. So, what are M-Bags? They're canvas sacks that are about 4 feet tall and have a diameter of 36 inches. And along with their mailing tags or PS tag 158, they're free at the post office. There's no minimum weight for it, but you'll have to pay the 11 pound postage price, even if it weighs less. The maximum pounds it could be is 66. Like the other international shipping services, be sure to check the index of countries and localities to see if your destination country has lower weight restrictions. Like first class package international service, the speed and price varies by the distance to the destination country. But if it's sent with Priority Mail International, it'll get there by six to 10 business days. It starts at 5170, but it depends on what that country's price group is. Once you find that number, you'll have to look at the Airmail M-Bag prices chart to see how much it costs to ship an M-Bag in that price group and how much it'll cost you for each additional pound. When it comes to filling your M-Bag, your items must already be in individual packages. They all have to have your name and address and your recipient's name and address. And yes, you can send these to PO Box addresses. The individual packages must also be marked as postage paid, M-Bag. Anything prepared as a bulk mailing 
has to have a US return address that's visible on the outside of the mail piece. Lastly, the MBAG address C tag, or PS tag 158, has to be attached to its neck. Unfortunately, airmail MBAGs can't be registered or insured, and when you use one, you give consent to the inspection of its contents. With any international shipping service, you have to fill out a customs form. This gives the post office and destination country all the information that it needs to get your item to its destination country on time and with the correct import fees. That's why it's super important that this is filled out accurately and in detail. You can pick up a customs form at the post office, create and print your own from the USPS website, or use their click and ship service to pay for postage and print up a shipping label and customs form to go with it. Once you get it, you'll need to fill out all the information in the shaded boxes and make sure to press down hard with your pen when you're writing so that it transfers to all the sheets. This includes your address and the recipient's address. By the way, if you need help figuring out international addresses, we have a how-to for that. For the next box, which includes the shipment information, check off what category fits your package. Make sure you list all of your items included in your package with as much detail as possible. For example, for mine, I have one pair of winter performance gloves, a fleece lined beanie, and a hard hat liner. Looking at my original receipt, I'm going to round up to the nearest dollar for each item's US value. When it comes to finding the weight, you'll have to use a postal scale or kitchen scale. Even though I didn't need to, I included the length and height of my package. In box 22, I also checked off that if my package can't be delivered, I want it to be returned to me, the sender. Lastly, sign your name with the date. Once your package is all taped up and you have all the addresses on it, you can take it to the post office. But don't forget your customs form. All this information they're gonna put on their computers to figure out the postage. Mine came out to $26 for first class package international service, which isn't too bad considering it's going overseas. Hopefully your package is all set and ready to go. And if this video helped, please give us a like. And if you're looking for more shipping how-tos or to learn something entirely different, be sure to check out our how-to hub and subscribe. Your next how-to might be right here. Well, I gotta go ship some more stuff, so I'll catch you guys later. Let's see. We got this game, got to bubble wrap it, put some cardboard, see if it fits.